Solomon's Vegas Adventures. What's going on everybody and welcome to another episode of Solomon's Vegas Adventures. Today we're going to explore a lava tube in the desert. So join us as we go explore the Mojave Desert lava tube. Without further ado, let's go. So Mojave Desert Lava Tube is located about an hour and a half south of Vegas in Mojave National Preserve. So to get there, you're going to want to take I-15 south until you get to Baker, California. Get off at the Baker exit and head south on Kell Baker Road. Then continue until you get to Aiken Mine Road. You'll start to see it. It's a dirt road right near the cinder cones. Turn left on Aiken Mine Road. It's easy to get up if you're in a sedan. It's accessible. And you're going to continue up Aiken Mine Road for a couple of miles until you see the turnoff for Mojave Desert Lava Tube. The sign will say Lava Tube. Here we are at the trailhead to the Mojave Desert Lava Tube. Let's go. All right, guys. So we're out here at the uh, Mojave Desert Lava Tube. About to see what it's all about. It's a long drive from Vegas, about two hours. Um, and yeah, we're way out in the boonies. Well guys, take a look at this landscape. I mean, this is like a real volcanic field out here. So I was reading up on some of the uh, history and the geology of the area. And these cinder cones date back to about 10,000 years ago when they last erupted. Um, it's basaltic magma. And you see it's just dotted with cinder cones out here. And these cinder cones are all indicative of that active basin and range tectonic rifting. So really cool to see the geology out here in the desert. So up here there's a junction. And to get to the lava tube, you're gonna wanna take the right that goes up this trail rather than going on this dirt road. So right up the trail. All right guys, here we go. This is the entrance to the lava tube. Let's get it. About to enter the tube. Let's go. All right, guys, so uh, I'll give you a little bit of history. Lava tubes like this are where magma travels in underground rivers, especially in basaltic or mafic volcanoes, which is the type of uh, lava here at the cinder cone. So uh, it gets dark down here. We're gonna have to get some uh, gear on. Someone put Israel 2019 on the wall. That's funny. Oh, you gotta crouch down low yeah, to know, get down here. Beautiful oh man. And then Israel 2019. <laughs> 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 That's funny. All right, let's keep going. This is stunning, guys. There's a little hole in the top of the tube over here. This is so picturesque. picturesque. My God. Snap a couple pics of that, and let's keep going. Let me you. Can take a pick and you can see the beam of sunlight coming through coming down into uh, the tube here look at that it's gorgeous going further back there's lots of windows lots of holes in the ceiling up here so we'll see if it goes further back here you can see miniature stalactites forming in this basalt Really cool, just interactions with the groundwater. I mean, stalactites and stalagmites usually form in limestone, but it's cool to see them here in this basalt. Look at that, wow. Looks like there's a dead end that way. We're gonna go the other way. Going back through the uh, huh? low part where you gotta squat. And that goes back to the entrance up here, but there's another side to the tube that we're gonna go check out. Checking out to see if there's more of it on this side. Not really. Yeah. yeah, it gets really narrow up there. It's... Nope, that's the ending right there. It's a cool place. Not very extensive, but pretty cool nonetheless. One hour later! All right, guys. So because the lava tube was uh, a little bit shorter than we expected, uh, we're out here in the Kingston Mountains. We decided to take a pit stop on the way home. The mountains are right behind us, and we're going to go see the Kingston Talc Mine. So... Stay tuned. And the pin is where the Kingston Talc Mine and Kingston Mountains are located, much closer to Las Vegas as you can see. So to get there, take I-15 South, take exit 272 for SEMA Road and head north. And it should be about 25, 30 minutes up the road from there. And there on that hillside right there, you can see the extensive workings of the Kingston Talc Mine. So uh, on we go. And the view of the Kingston Mountains is pretty amazing. You know, it's a remote mountain range out here in Eastern California, right on the border of Nevada. And we parked way over there on uh, Excelsior Mine Road, 
which is paved by the way it's not a four by four road so pretty interesting the kingston range is a granite intrusion you can see all the granite up there all right y'all so i'm just going to discuss the geology of this talc deposit here now talc deposits and old talc mines are uh, really common across eastern california because these talc deposits form in a process called contact metamorphism so the beds of rock up there are sedimentary rocks they're well sedimentary and metamorphic it's uh old limestones and old quartzites from uh from the neoproterozoic which is about 700 million years old and basically what causes the talc to form are these diabase and gabbro dikes and sills which are volcanic intrusions that melt the limestone and the quartzite resulting in contact metamorphism now i'm going to try to remember this off the top of my head the chemical formula for talc is mg3 si4 o10 i believe i could be wrong if i'm wrong i'll correct myself when editing the video but again it's just magnesium and silica basically and there it is now talc it, you know what talcum powder is you know what it's used for the mines here were used during world war one and world war ii um, as well as a little bit above that but they've since been abandoned because there's been a lot of research on talc that you know maybe it's carcinogenic um you know asbestos is another commonly formed mineral in um you know in occurrence with talc and the talc mines out here in eastern california tend to be as best of form at least there are levels of asbestos in this talc so what you're going to want to do is you're not going to want to breathe it in you know just like seeing it is not going to kill you but one of the reasons why these mines were abandoned was because of the uh as best of form talc out here so just something to be aware of well here we are at the bottom of the talc occurrence uh another interesting thing about talc is that it's the softest mineral on the planet it's uh a one on the most hardness scale and there we have it there so talc the talc here is formed as the magnesium and the mafic magma interacts with the silica and the quartzite during contact metamorphism and the rock in which talc is deposited in is called soapstone so these are all soapstones and this is all talc bearing soapstone so i couldn't find an official name for this mine on the internet uh, for this particular one so i just called it the kingston talc mine because we're at kingston peak we're in the kingston wilderness so yeah let's check the rest of it out the wind was blowing horribly so i'm gonna do a voice over here more shots of the tailings and uh we've got a lot of soapstone and a lot of talc out here so i would advise against taking any samples of your own um, because as you know the talc is as best of form as i previously mentioned now before you say well wait solomon if it's as best as then why the hell are you even out there well it's safe to be out here on these mines because the asbestos is emplaced in the talc in its atomic structure, atomically. And the problem that you have is repeated exposure to it through breathing it in and grinding it up into powder. So just seeing talc rocks out here is not going to harm you in any way, shape, or form. It's also extremely well ventilated because you're outside. The dangerous part of talc and, as and of asbestos is grinding it up into powder which we're obvious and breathing it in, which we're obviously not doing out here. Just looking at it and just being out here is not going to be dangerous so it's a hundred percent completely safe to be out here just exploring in the open air without grinding it up there's a nice uh, specimen of talc right there you can see it so here's the uh the white is the talc and the soapstone and the black right there is that diabase gabbro magmatic intrusion right there so uh pretty cool dichotomy now this is a really interesting cut because you can see the veins of that diabase magmatic intrusion which is the darker cutting through and the lighter being the soapstone and talc that was formed because of that all right making our way up here to see what's up with the rest of the mine these are like really nice specimens of talc like there's a lot out here look up there look at that big green one on the hillside that's cool Wow, this is a really nice specimen of that talc, guys. You can see there's so much left here. Up there we go. There might have been an entrance or an added or something down here that's been back sealed. Interesting. 
made it to the top of that uh, pile of tailings. Look at this view. This view is just second to none. I love it. Look at the Kingston Mountains right there. Kingston Range. Pretty firing here. Looks like people having the fire and yep. Up here and look at that. You can see right where the vein is. And that purple, that brilliant purple is all the quartzite. And that white of course is the talc. Beautiful. I don't see any portals or adits or shafts or anything. Looks like this is just a surface operation, which makes sense. I mean, this is like coming right out of the surface, this talc is. Here's another view of that miniature canyon here. Yeah, just looks like this is about it. Making my way up the uh, to the highest level. So uh, let's see what's up here. Another look at this uh, canyon here, the beautiful quartzite, the talc. Up there's the destination. Well, this seems to be the end of the mine, of the quarry. The deposit continues up there, as you can see, but they stopped here. No openings, no shafts, no adits, no nothing. Just a surface operation, just to be expected. It's a really nice climb up here. And when I say nice, I mean difficult. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a little bit out of breath, as you can tell, but um, really great views really steep and uh i'm gonna go this way towards the edge to show you guys the views all right guys so another voiceover because the wind was absolutely plowing we chose like the windiest day to go but uh there's clark mountain over there and there's a u-bed down there at the bottom of the tailings he stayed behind it was a hard climb up but you look over to the spring mountains the southern springs um clark mountain obviously and then the kingston range right there Kingston Peak right there. And if you look way in the distance, you can see Sema Dome and Teutonia Peak as well as the New York Mountains and Mojave National Preserve, but that's way in the distance. So again, guys, no adits, no openings, no nothing, no inner workings here. And even if there were, we wouldn't go in them. But uh, yeah, that was uh, the mine. Time to go back. Well, I'll end with some footage from uh, driving back from the Kingstons. I mean, it's it's a really pretty road. It's a real gem of a place. So as always, thanks for watching, guys, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Peace!